That was questionable. <laughs> It's the court order of Cadigan and Nadine. So, it's already been a very busy time for this barony out here. I have been hearing many wonderful tales. I have witnessed many fantastic things happen. And I could not be more proud of what's been taking place out here at this Penzik War. Thank you all for coming tonight. It is great to see everyone here. It's great to have everyone in our court again at Penn State. Hi, you took it all. Sorry. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi. 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 Everybody comfortable and got a drink? All right. If anybody needs, <laughs> if anybody needs any water or pop or anything, there is stuff up here. So please help yourselves. So, out on the list fields, not only have the melee units outdone themselves, especially given the low numbers that have been on the fields. Um, I know I talked to the rapier unit yesterday after the battle. We had like nine fighters. Every time I turned around, there was a Brendokan fighter supporting, giving aid taking a position. It was like there were 30 of us out there. It was absolutely wonderful to see. One of our fighters went to the cadet tournament today, the known world cadet tournament for Ray Pierre. And Lord Sigmund Grimbor took fourth place. Wow. Woo! Specifically, which primarily was a lot of Brendokin, had one job. We were to defend a tower. Now, there is nothing that gives Brendokin more power than giving us a tower to defend. <laughs> it never fell. They did not get that tower. That was the only one they didn't get. We maintained that opening, we maintained that position and held. And like I said, I could not be more proud of this unit. They did a fantastic job. Woo! 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 Yeah. Actually, yeah. See, could I add to that a smidgen as North Open uh, you, Commander? Absolutely. Because by no, no fault of my own, I went to the command meeting last night to talk about today's battle. And if the woods didn't happen and we did the alternate battle with the five flags, North Oaken was going to be assigned between Flag 2 and 3, with Brend Oaken and Flag 2 in the building. We were Flag 2. Brend Oaken was responsible for the building. The rest of North Oaken was somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> that speaks a lot to our fighters. It Thank really you. does. Thank, Thank you, you Lorenzo. Thank you. On top of that, for our armored unit, first of all, I want to speak of the unbelts. So we had four fighters from our barony on the Unbelts team. And they went out, they fought. Whoa! Please tell me the other two because I have forgotten who the other two were. Lou and Wolverine. Thank you, yes, okay, yes. So we had NASA, Excellency Ox, Avangar. Avangar <laughs> and Morales all fought on the Enbelts team and they went out there and fought with honor and did very well. While things happen the way they do, they fought really hard and well. And I couldn't be more proud of their job. On top of the fact, our armored unit in the field maintained the cathedral in the center of the battlefield and that flag was never taken by the enemy. So for our armored units, Huba. Huba. So unbelt an alternate. Woo! Oh yeah. Not only on the march.
commercial fields. But on the archery range, in case anyone was not aware, our baronial archery champion is also the XO for the Mid Realms target archery team. Are you not? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> and both Lord Darkstone and his son, Lord Willemus, are on the champions team for the Mid Realm Army. <laughs> and we cannot leave out our thrown weapons people. Today, the Mid Realm Army won the Thrown Weapons Championship. The Mid Realm was given to choose one youth to participate on that team. My Thrown Weapons Champion was that individual, Xavier. A lot. You might think that's all we do. <laughs> it's and not? It absolutely is not. Wait, it's we not. have one of our own <laughs> doing ANS to represent the Mid Realm, Master Caridwin. Yeah. That is tomorrow, and your judging is at 10 o'clock, yes? Yes, tomorrow, 10 o'clock to 3 o'clock. Come and visit all of the ANS Warpoint champions. But I'm being judged from eight, from 10 to 11. Where is it at? It is up where the ANS tents are at Penzik University. So I'm gonna get lost. Yeah. <laughs> so go up to Troll, and when you cross the road from Troll, you're in the ANS tent. If you turn left, you hit the food court. <laughs> Somebody will tell you where to go. Oh, I'll tell you where to go. <laughs> Where's that tavern? <laughs> thank you, thank you, Master Karen. Thank you. I would also like to thank any of the populace who are out there taking classes right now. What you're doing also counts, including those of us who might not actually be from the mid realm but are taking classes on behalf of the mid realm. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So the artisans. Huzzah. 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 So, I think we have a little bit of business we need to work on. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that would probably be a wonderful thing. Uh, yes. You're on. I understand that your bardic champion has something they'd like to perform. Please, we would love to hear it. At the start of Penzik, His Excellency said, Would you like to perform something for court? And I said, No. <laughs> <laughs> After he left, my family came up to me and said, You realize that you're a bardic champion? <laughs> <laughs> and when the Baron asks you to do something, your answer should be yes. <laughs> so while we were um, waiting to process, there was a gentleman that said, I just came here to sweat. <laughs> and the Baroness said, that sounds like a drinking song. <laughs> So I wrote a drinking song. I just haven't gotten the song part of it yet, but the lyrics I have. So. I'm ready. <laughs> Say we all. He volunteers in tribute. <laughs> the, the tune will come later. And the title is, I Came Here to Sweat. <laughs> <laughs> My dragon landed in a ditch. I started yelling, son of a gun. <laughs> His leg is broken, he'll never fly. He was carrying my house to keep me dry. It started to rain and I got wet, but that's okay, 
because I came here to sweat. <laughs> I came here to sweat, oh, I came here to sweat. I'm as hot as I can get, but that's okay, because I came here to sweat. I put my garb on, long sleeves and all, for I was going to a ball. I danced the rufty tufty. <laughs> I danced the horse's brawl. My forehead was perspiring by the time I finished the set but that's okay, because I came here to sweat. And the chorus. <laughs> <laughs> I walked up to the Cooper store to get things I forgot. It was sunny and humid and I got rather hot. My hair was hanging down my back because I forgot my net. I hope I'm going to lose some weight because I came here to sweat. <laughs> and another chorus. <laughs> which would include some oh. drinking. <laughs> catch up, catch up. All right. We're good. I was watching folks come back from the battle they had gone. They removed their armor, greaves and gauntlets, and peltrons. Gorget and Helm and Chainmail were the first to make the fall. Gogan asked, please unstrap me, and Deirdre answered the call. <laughs> <laughs> but when it came to knee pads, they stuck like they were glued. She pulled and yanked and twisted till they finally came off. My sleeves, my hood, my tunic, I would like to doff, but I don't mind. It's Penzik time, and I came here to sweat. That was fantastic. That was Thank awesome. you so very much. Huzzah! You're part of champion at skills. I felt every hit as she was reading it. No, I know, Your Excellency. So, yeah, I, we have a little bit of business we need to conduct. And um, I hope everybody's paying attention. Algar, man the grill. What? Man the grill. <laughs> the, grill, the, grill man. the grill needs manning. Their excellencies command before them, Baron John Roslin the Ox. That's you. <laughs> That's you. That's you. Right there. You got fire going. They're all going to be well done. <laughs> All draw near and hear her the words of Baron Cadogan and Baroness Adina Brandoken. For his unceasing vigilance as baronial exchequer and continued service to the barony, we award to Baron John Rosling the Ox an award of the Golden Thistle. Woo! So let me tell you something. During the pandemic, when a lot of us were doing other things and being on SCA and this man right here had a job every month and every month he handled that job <laughs> you handled it you can say all you want you handled it <laughs> you did the job he is always there to do the job from the time I met this man he has always been there to do the job and we cannot tell you For Baron John Ross on the Ox, Huma! Huma! Ox, you might not want to go too far. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, you need it again. Their, their Excellencies invite you to their presence, oh, Master Caridwin Burke Airward. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
<laughs> Let it be known by all here present that we, Baron Cadigan Faber and Baroness I Isadine, fourth Baron and Baroness of the Barony of Brandoken, right mindful of the skills that Master Caridwin Burke Airward demonstrated with needle and thread, in addition to talent with thrown knife and wood, as well as all things creative plus her willingness to share and teach. For these reasons, we wish to bestow upon her the award of the Golden Alderly. Now, we understand bigger awards than this, maybe better awards. This one comes from the heart. The things you do are recognized here at home. And we thank you and we appreciate what you do. Nothing's better than home, Your Excellency. For Master Caridwin, Huma! Huma! Individuals, we need to call them the court. This, this award has been uh, sitting around for like our first Pensick that we were Baron and Baroness. It, it's, it's been a long time coming and we've been waiting to do this and excited to do it. Sadly, one of the individuals is not able to be here because um, life. life. Their Excellencies warmly welcome into their presence Anthony and Isabella Impressailer. Now, Isabella cannot be here. Isabella is Anthony's sister. You can heal or you can not. She is uh, serving in the military right now, and reserves. So she is not able to be here with us. But these two awards we've had for quite a while. Let all hold within our borders here the words of Barrett and Cadigan and, and Baroness Adeen. Know that we, having witnessed the service is given unto our barony by Isabella and Roselli, in the form of water bearing her airing and being a hand at events, are minded to make unto her an award of the golden thistle. See, read, and hear the words of Cadigan, our Baron, and Adeen, our Baroness. Know that we, having witnessed the service given to our barony by her in water bearing, lending a hand and, and general old service is mindedness, are minded to make Anthony and Brazelli our award of the golden thistle. Now these two individuals live with us for two weeks out of the year here at Penzik. Technically, they're from another kingdom, <coughs> but they love nothing better than to come here and serve the Middle Kingdom. They have been water bearing since they were old enough to come up to the field and do it. They've drug water around, they've carried pickles and pretzels to mm -hmm. fighters, they have been around on the battlefield for years, and we wanted to recognize the fact that you have done a lot for this barony, and we appreciate it. So thank you for your service. These kids never ever, not once, said no. For Anthony and Isabella, Huma! Their Excellency is now invited to their court, Lord Darkstone. Tell all the populace that, that, uh, that we, Cadigan and Dean, Baron and Baroness of Brendoken, are minded to make unto Darkstone an award of the Golden Tower for his talents and services to the archers of Brendoken and also to the Mid Realm. So I continue to brag about this man. 
<laughs> because there are so many things to say about him. As we mentioned earlier, XO of the Mid-Realm Target Archery Team. Chant North Oaken Regional Champion. Brent Oaken Archery Champion. And for anyone who missed it, during the known world baronial archers champion shoot, he came in second. In the entire known world baronial archery group, he came in second. Woo! Woo! And he lost to a crossbow with sight, so. <laughs> <laughs> he continues to not only excel at archery, but as service to this baron. Excellencies now commanded to their presence. Lord Boo! Uh oh. Uh oh. It's been a long time. Is it a misdemeanor at least? Yeah. $200. Maybe. I'm not going to. I wouldn't trust them. Hear now the words it's of our fierce Baron Cadigan and a Dean, our, our Baroness of grace. We recognize the works of our, our servant, Lord Xavier Boo, for all forest translation and for activities and host to, uh, to the, uh, the glowing box of information and also owe his help for, uh, for building armor, helping in visitors and convincing them to travel to join our ranks. For this, we reward him with an award of the Golden Thistle. <laughs> just, just a little. Every now and then, stop by court. <laughs> Say hi. We like you. We like when you come to things. But for everything you've done to help people in this barony, putting together armor, dealing with that internet-y page glowy thingy box. Bob, glowy box. Yes, the glowy box thing that you deal with. We greatly appreciate all the work you've done and wish to. <laughs> Lord Boo, Huba! Huba! Uh, their Excellencies jet, uh, gently coerce into their presence. Sigmund Grimbor. <laughs> That's what you get for not offering to catch me. I'm, I'm not sure how Weird, but drink, okay. So. <laughs> Jelly seen the best thing. We felt it was appropriate. <laughs> All shall know that we, Cadigan and Dean, Baron and Baroness Brendoken, recognize Lord or Sigma and Grimboard having given in greatly of his time and labor, for always having been there to help those in need, willingness to teach, and ensuring of the joy of everything having to do with the way for combat. We do hereby I award unto him our award of the Golden Shield. <laughs> but it's gonna be tough. We see you every day helping teaching, learning, sharing, absolutely, e yeah, absolutely everything having to do with the Rayfair community. 
I've seen you hand over your armor and your weapons to somebody who's never played before. I've seen you give of your time. I received a missive from Master Lion. When you were... What, what you uh, Artemisia. Artemisia, yes, thank you. From when Grimborg traveled to Artemisia, telling me how wonderful it was to have had Grimborg show up at his practice. How he went around to everyone and introduced himself. And how chivalrous he was on the list field with everyone he came up against and could not wait for him to come back. And I responded to that telling him, well, there's this funny story. Guess what we're doing for him? <laughs> so for all the chivalry you show in the field and all that you give, Grimborg is a funny, dramatic young man, full of flair and energy and exuberance. <laughs> and behind all of that loud behavior <laughs> is a young man of humility, of grace, of charity, with the biggest heart. We see it all. Chivalry in all of its forms. Or Excellencies now invite before them Lord Duncan. <laughs> you just look too comfortable, that's why. <laughs> no reason any gravity chair with extra gravity on the side. <laughs> you have extra gravity. <laughs> Proclaim unto all that we, Baron Cadogan and Adine Arbaritus, have heard of the good uh, deeds and services of Lord Dungan McGrogan for his skill and outstanding service, not only to the archers of Brendoken, but to the kingdom. We are minded to make unto him an award of the Golden Tower. And it, it's very, I want to point this out. Notice the outfit in the scroll. <laughs> <laughs> Is he not just gorgeous? <laughs> I think he's there. For everyone you have helped, for everyone you have provided loaner equipment to, for everyone you have shown how to knock an arrow and loose an arrow, we appreciate the setting, the tearing down, the helping, the teaching, everything that you have done, this is Barony, to help the managers. Thank you so much. Lord Duncan. Huma! I have a few words, I guess, since, okay, it's three years worth. Um, so we are back at Penzik, and in some ways, it's not what we expected, it's not what we remember. And in so many other ways, 
It so absolutely is. And I want to thank every one of you for being here. And especially for being here tonight to share this time of camaraderie and food and, and food. <laughs> and I love you all. Thank you. Thank you for each and every one of you who have come out and made this, this Pensacola. This has been a fabulous homecoming. It's been a fabulous time with family and friends, both near and far. And we are so very honored to be able to lead this group. You make us proud every single day. Thank you. Oh, and one more thing. For those of you watching at home, thank you for keeping the home fires burning. And we miss you, each and every one. There being no further business, Hearing close the support of their excellencies. All rise and all hail! Oh,